Josiah Jordan James and Santiago Viscovi. How did I do? That's right. Good. Be in, be in. All right. Okay, first question to our right. Rob Lewis with VolQuest.com. For, for both you guys, you've been with Coach for, for so long. Does the fact that he's playing Texas tomorrow, does that mean anything to you guys, or is it just you know because of his history, or is it just another game in between the Sweet 16? I mean, for Coach, he definitely doesn't make it bigger than it is. You know, he has no hard feelings towards that university. But, you know, for us, we kind of take it upon ourselves to, you know, make things right with him because we know that this is a huge game for him, even though he doesn't want it to be. Uh, we want to come out with a victory. And obviously, in this time, part of the season, it's win or go home. And, you know, obviously, they're just another team in the way. But, you know, the UT versus UT rivalry is something that's new and we're excited about and we love winning. Thank you. Yeah, uh, same thing Joe said. Uh, we know that at this point of the year, you either win or go home. Uh, Texas is just another opponent that we have in front. Uh, and I think we're going to need everybody uh, like we had last game where everybody played hard every second they stepped on the court. And we're going to need that out of every single person. Hey, for both of y'all, uh, <laughs> Triple J. Josiah, I'm sorry. And All good. Santi I like the nickname. And Santiago. Um, when, you got, when you guys look at what happened in, in Indianapolis two years ago, where you had an opportunity to advance, do you, do y'all two guys that have kind of been around the program, do you look back at that, those kind of moments and try to teach the current guys that are on the roster, you know, maybe what y'all did wrong back then compared to what you could do right now? We lost in Michigan. Um, I would think. You know, you try to learn a lot from losses, especially in settings like this. But, you know, I feel like everybody in that locker room knows what's at stake and knows the sense of urgency we have to play with. And, you know, I'm proud of the way we came out the last 40 minutes. And I think that I know for a fact that if we come out with that sense of urgency, that sense of aggressiveness uh, for 40 minutes, we'll put ourselves in a very good position to win. But uh, it really, you know, it helps having that experience, even though we lost. Experience is always the best teacher. And, you know, we try to share that experience with other guys, but I feel like everybody from top to bottom is locked in. Yeah, and big, uh, most important than that, uh, I think, because that game, of course, we lost. Uh, we can learn a lot from that. But it was two years ago. Uh, I think the biggest teacher at this point uh, probably is the two games, the two last games that we had against Kentucky and at the SEC tournament, especially the SEC tournament one, because uh, it gave us a feeling that uh, we definitely don't want to feel anymore. Uh, if we feel that again, it means our season is over. And just to understand, like Joe was saying, the sense of urgency that we're going to play with. And I think it's easier to look back to those games that happened recently and where everybody, everybody was involved, even though we can tell them about what happened two years ago. I think that's the biggest teacher that we're going to have. Ryan Sylvia, Rivals.com. I'm sure there's a lot of positive takeaways from the game yesterday, but what were some of the things the coaches were telling you guys that need to be improved? I would just say taking care of the ball. Um, and, you know, obviously going against a team like Texas, they score a lot in transition. They get a lot of points off turnovers. So just being better with uh, taking care of the ball and then defensive rebounding, you know, just having holding teams to one possession. So those two aspects for sure. San Diego. Uh, yeah, same thing, taking care of the ball, uh, playing hard on defense like we did. And they're a very physical team, so uh, just got to play hard on both ends of the floor and then box out and then go on the offensive rebound. Steve Lehman, News Channel 5 in Nashville. You guys have been around for what has been maybe the best stretch of Tennessee basketball all time. How important would it for you two, as you kind of wrap this up, to one, get the next step of getting back to a second straight Sweet 16 tomorrow, but I know you have higher goals in mind and to finish it off that way. Yeah, our goal when we came together in the summer, we got everybody together for our first team meeting. We talked about making history, and we knew that we had a collective guys, a collective group that you know, could be a part of it. And we've worked endlessly and tirelessly, tirelessly to get to this point. But you know, the, the buck doesn't stop here. We want bigger and better things. And we want to leave this place better than we found it. You know, we've had a lot of success and a lot of wins. But you know, this time right in front of us is the most important. And we know that the next 40 minutes could be our last 40 minutes if we don't come out with a sense of urgency. But we just got to take it one game at a time. And I know if we do that and come in with the right mindset that we can make history in this program. Yeah. 
Yeah, go ahead. Same thing. Uh, Joe nailed it, but. I'll let him start answering first. No. Uh, but yeah, just get to come, come out with that sense of urgency. Uh, know that this is the most fun part of the year. Uh, and we just got to play with that chip on our shoulder uh, that we know we can do. And just go out and get, give all our effort uh, every second on the court. I think every guy on the last game uh, did that. Everybody that stepped on the court played really hard and did what they were supposed to. So if we keep doing that, I think we're going to put ourselves in a great position to win. Josiah, right here back in the middle. Um, being at Tennessee for how long that you have been there and with Rick Barnes, it, it, did looking back on it now, maybe your first year, first semester at Tennessee, do you think you guys kind of laid a foundation when it comes to getting the basketball program kind of right in that back in that right direction? Even when Rick was hired at Tennessee and then you arrived when you did, it just seemed like it stabilized the program a little bit. Can you talk about those those early years that you were there compared to where you are now? Yeah, I'm not sure how the program did when like prior to Coach Barnes and you know his first couple of years, I just know my time there for my last five years, and I can't really say it was me and Santi solely. We we had leaders of like Jordan Bowden, Lamonte Turner, John Fulkerson, Eve Pons, guys who were on that 2018, 2019 team who did some really good things and had a really talented group, and so they just you know were great leaders for us. And you know once those guys left, they the the weight, the weight was on our shoulders as leaders. And I think we've done a great job of upholding the standard and having Tennessee be the standard of SEC basketball. And you know, in this tournament, we're trying to make Tennessee the standard of all college basketball and you know, trying to be the last team standing. We also have some people on Zoom. If you have a question on Zoom, use the uh, raise hand function. We'll get it to you. Anybody else here in the room with a question? I guess I'll follow up a little bit to the earlier question is, how much did you guys hear after last week? Uh, for all your wins, people talking about, oh, they haven't done it in March the way they want to, and then last week to lose on Friday. Do you guys take that personally to any degree? First of all, uh, you got to understand, once you get in a position like we are, where there's a lot of eyes watching you, uh, there's a lot of that stuff that you got to kind of channel it out. Uh, I don't think any of our guys are paying attention to what other people are saying. Uh, you're always going to have uh, both ends. You know, people that are going to go against you, people are going to go with you, and we know what we're here to do. Uh, I think the team has prepared the best way we can, and I think it's shown the first game we played yesterday, and we just got to keep it rolling now. Uh, at the end of the day, we're the ones on the court, uh, and yeah, we just got to keep playing hard like we're doing. Was that for me too? Yeah, good. Um, our, our motto, you know, since this tournament has started and you kind of leading up to the SEC tournament is it's just us. And we don't, you know, it's hard to, but we, we're trying our best to block out all the outside noise. Obviously, we know that we haven't had the success that we've wanted to in the past years. And, you know, the only way we can fix it is by accepting the challenge that we have in front of us and playing the, the next 40 minutes like it's the championship game. And so, obviously, would we have wanted to do better in past tournaments? Obviously, that's. 100%, but all we can do is accept the challenge that we have now and try to, to be our best in this moment. Just how you just talked about that motto, it's just us. Can you just expand on what that entails? Yeah, everybody um, in the locker room from top to bottom, you know, who's been with us throughout in our organization is all we need. Coaches has, has talked about it from day one, everybody in that locker room. We have everything that we need to, to be successful and be the last team standing. And so just relying on each other, uh, having a selfless attitude and competing on a day to day basis, you know, relying on our daily habits that have, you know, we started in the summertime that we've relied on to get to this point in the season. We don't have to come to this tournament and be anybody that we're not and try to do things that we haven't done up until this point. We're one of the best teams, if not the best teams in the country. And we've gotten that way by doing what we do and relying on the group that we have. Santiago, what does that mean to you? Just us. Same thing Josiah just said. Tyler Wombles, Daily Times. For either of you, Santi, you mentioned Texas being a physical team. How physical do you expect this game to be tomorrow? Do you expect it to be a very physical game? Yeah, for sure. Uh, 
we this is going to be the third time we play him uh, in three years. So uh, we kind of know each other at this point. And yeah, they're a team that plays really hard. They're a very talented team. Got to give them a lot of credit. Uh, they're going to play hard. We know we know it's going to be a physical battle. And uh, I don't have any doubt any of our guys are going to not going to be up to the standard. I think everybody's going to do their job. Uh, we're a physical team as well. So uh, it's going to come down to the wires. And I think both teams are going to be really physical tomorrow. I think, you know, going into the game, they're going to know what we're going to run. We're going to know what they're going to run. It's not going to come down to X's and O's, but it's going to be, it's going to come down to who's the more physical team. Like Santi said, we played them the last three years straight. And if you go back to those games where they won at Texas, they were more physical for the majority of the game and they won. Go back to the game last year in Knoxville, we were more physical from start to finish and we were able to pull out the victory. So we know that, you know, it's, it doesn't come down to game plan. It just comes down to toughness and physicality in the end. Anyone else? Okay, thanks. Good job, guys.